Now you know February is the month of love. So today, hosted by Melanie of Living Luxurious for Less, I am joining forces with some of your favorite YouTube creators. You will be showered with love by all the beautiful creative ideas we have in store for you this Valentine's. So at the end of this video, you can click on the playlist to see more exciting ideas to get you ready for a beautiful or romantic Valentine's Day. In today's show, I'll show you how I turned my boring bedroom into a romantic Valentine's retreat by making this beautiful upholstered paneled headboard for just $35. Plus, I'll be giving a friend tips for surprising his wife by decorating with a few inexpensive items. Hello everyone, it's Tony, and I am here today with a great friend of mine, Carlos Green. And uh, he actually, by the way, has a great podcast, him and his wife, along with their friends, um, Chris and Sonia called Power Couples Rock. And uh, it's just an awesome show for couples, for married couples, just lots of relationship help. Anyway, I was talking to Carlos and I decided that I was going to do my bedroom over for Valentine's. I want to surprise my husband by having a nice romantic bedroom. And um, he wanted to do the same thing. So he asked me for some suggestions for a little corner in his room so that he can um, just uh, make it really nice and um, romantic spot for them and surprise his wife for the Valentine's. So he is showing me his spot, his area, and um, I'm going to give him some, some little pointers on what he could do to make it beautiful and we, we're trying to stay within the budget of like $25 so this will be a great challenge <laughs> so anyway I want to introduce you to Carlos Green and um, Carlos tell us say hi and tell us um, show us your area great thank you Tony it's so good to see you again and thank you for rescuing me in this space, I really want to create a wonderful, romantic, engaging space for my wife. So she's downstairs, so I'm not talking too loud so she can't hear me. But we are in my master bedroom at this point. And so we have this great nook area that I want to be transformed into this romantic getaway for her. Either we can watch movies or some kind of picnic kind of setting. So here we are here. You can see in the back, this is the nook area. It's probably about a five by five or a three by five in my be master bedroom. So if I started here, we've got this table and chairs here in this corner here that we use. And we use that primarily for like either reading or studying or just relaxing, playing music. And then of course, we've got the windows here that looks outside. And then we have this great sofa table that she kind of constructed and put together uh, that we have. So that's pretty much the space that we have. If you guys can kind of see that at, at that angle. Oh, but great. I think it would be awesome, Tony, to transform that into like this private romantic getaway setting. That's what I'm asking your help for. <laughs> sure. I think that there's a lot of little things we could do to add to just brighten up the space and, and to make it a romantic space. So I did get pictures of your place and um, I went shopping yesterday for my own surprise and I found some things that I think will work great in your area too. So awesome. um, I'm gonna show you what I, what I have and some ideas and you can use them or not, but um, okay. um, they're inexpensive so um, I picked them up. <laughs> so if you don't want them, I could keep them myself, but I'm going to show you what we have. Okay. So this is your area. I want to concentrate on this area here, like you said, okay. and make it into something that you can serve and enjoy. So I went to Dollar Tree and I went to Goodwill and I found some really nice items for really inexpensive that I think will be great. So the first item I found was this tray. Now this is a 
tray that I found is really tarnished, but it was just $5. It's very wow. heavy. And, and it's like a, a, a really um, old, beautiful servant tray. So it's tarnished right now, but I, what I did was I cleaned it up. So now it looks like this. And just by using a little right silver clean, it, it cleans up really beautiful. And it's something you can keep, you know, and pass on to your, your kids. But I think that makes a beautiful servant tray. Um, That's the next incredible. Thing, so it's a great deal. Um, the next thing I found was this candle opera, but I think it would make a nice piece to go in the background, you could put candles in and, and light it and have it be nice and romantic. I brushed a little silver onto it so that it, you know, sort of matches the silver that you'll have on that table. I'm not sure if if it's okay to use it for something other than, you know, Jewish ceremonies, but I, I think it should be a nice romantic and spiritual background. But you well, know, I won't do anything. I do like it. I won't do anything to disrespect it. I'll just put the candles on it and light it and, you know, just make sure that we honor that. Um, next, I... Also at Goodwill, I found this really nice frame. And I thought this would be really nice to put a picture of you and Catherine in. And this was just um, $1.99. So that'll be perfect on the table next to your tray, candles. And I also went to Dollar Tree and found some roses. I thought that you can make some nice floral displays for the table and around the room. And I did put that together with these pieces, these pieces I got from Dollar Tree also. So what I did was I put those pieces together with some Gorilla Glue to make a, a larger base out of these two. And I did a floral arrangement with the flowers. This is just rocks in the bottom of the bowl and I just stuck the flowers in. If you want, you can also use fresh flowers. If, if yeah. you did, yeah, if you did that, I would use probably just a glass bowl. But the tray, you could do something like put some bowls in it and, and, and serve the food, have like a buffet of the food that you order. Just have some plates and napkins, something nice. And, and all of this could be displayed on that table. On the sofa table? On or the, the sofa table, yes. Yes, yes. yes. I like that. Uh, well, this is your room. I was also thinking that you could maybe lighten up the area. You have mm -hmm. these teal curtains. But I did find some. Right here they are. So this was wow. $7 for two sets of these. Wow. So it'll look something like this, you know, the area. Um, the white curtains will lighten up. You could add it to the teal curtains, you know, or just replace them. But I think it, it will match the blush flowers or go well with them. If you want to use the pink flowers, um, you could use those. But it will look something like this. Some light, yes. you know, light row, light curtains, and you're set up here. Uh, I think that looks great. There were also lots of little items at Dollar Tree that you could use to decorate and um, just, you know, say more Valentine's. Maybe get some balloons if you like. But the whole setup on the sofa table with the yes. flowers and everything, the curtain and um, everything there, that's about $25. I love it. Yeah. That would work. I'm I'm sticking with a very romantic, cost effective, not being cheap, but cost effective way to celebrate her, her and our marriage. So that's great. I will be over to pick those up and I can't wait to put it together and do the reveal. I'm excited. I can't wait to see it. So <laughs> now I got to get to work, working on my project. I am going to, um, I have this idea of making this headboard. So that's going to take a, um, 
some thought. <laughs> so I'm going to go get started on that and I'll check back with you later to see how everything turned out. Okay, so as for my project, a little while back my husband got this bed, which is really nice, but um, it goes up and down. Um, but with it, there was no headboard. He also got this comforter set to go with it, which was nice of him, but it's kind of dull because it little it blends in with the color of the walls. So I really want to set up a nice romantic bedroom with a new headboard and a room for us to enjoy. Now about a month or so ago, my husband sent me pictures of these paneled headboards and I really liked them a lot. He loved them. So I want to make something similar to this for my bedroom. Now online these cost between 300 and thousands of dollars, but I want to try to make this within Carlos's challenge for about $25. So let's see if I can do that. To make my headboard, I'm using 10 pieces of foam board, black duct tape, black rope. I picked up these pieces from Dollar Tree. From Walmart, I got polyfill quilt batting and six of the 36 inch 5 8 round wooden dowels. And from Goodwill, I found these curtains with material that I like to use. This was $9.99. So to make the base backing for my headboard, I'm using four pieces of foam board. And I'll use black duct tape to tape the panels together all the way around front and back. This will make a big panel that will be 60 by 40 and that'll be the perfect size to fit over my queen size bed. Next I'm going to make a frame for the back by attaching wooden dowels. I'm centering a 36 inch wooden dowel between the first bottom two boards right in the middle and I'm attaching it using some Gorilla Clear Grip glue and then hot glue in the center of the line. And I'm also using duct tape around the pieces. I did the same for the top two pieces and now I'm gluing a rod vertically adjacent to the two middle pieces going from the bottom of the board up so that you have something that looks like this. Next I'm going to glue the last two pieces right next to and on the inside of the bottom two pieces going downward and these will be the legs for the headboard. I'm also going to use duct tape to tape around all of those pieces. So this is the back of the base for the headboard and it should stand just above my mattress. To be able to attach this to the wall, I put little eyelids at the top of the dowel at the top of the board and um, I'm going to put some wire through it so that I could almost hang this like a picture frame but I'm going to pull a wire really tight so that it's a straight line. So now that the base of my headboard is pretty much done, I'm going to start working on my panels. So I took four more of the boards and cut each of them in fours so that I have 16 15 by 10 inch panels. As a template for cutting my material and batting, I used a separate board to cut a piece that was about 13 by 18. So next I'm laying my batting and my material out on the floor. I'm putting my material right on top of the batting and I'm using a 13 by 18 inch board template to trace squares into the fabric. I'm making 16 of these and then cut each piece out. Now with my boards, material and batting, I'm going to material and batting and turn it so that the material is at the bottom, the batting, and then the board on top of that. And I'm placing that board right in the center. Now to attach the material to the board, I'm using Gorilla Glue Gun glue sticks and I'm going to put a little glue on the batting and press that to the board. I'm going to hold it down and then use a regular staple and staple right where the glue is. Now you want to keep a damp rag to wipe your staple so it doesn't get clogged up with hot glue. So do that every time you staple. Then that'll help keep the staple in place 
and help keep the material attached to the board. Since this is a foam board, the staple might not stay in that well, but the hot glue will help keep it in. So I'm going to attach the center um, pieces first of the material, and then I'll go back around, make sure it's tight, and put staples in between. On each corner, I'm cutting the batting out so that I could neatly pull the edges in and staple those and glue those down. So this is what each panel will look like back and front. And I just love the texture on this material that I got from Goodwill, but you could use Dollar Tree. They had some nice colors and patterns there. And if you use about eight of them, you'll only spend eight dollars on the material. So now I'm ready to attach these to my headboard. And to do that, I'm starting at the center bottom and I'm putting a dollop of hot glue, Gorilla hot glue, on the highest parts on each corner of the panel. And I'm lining in the first one up with the bottom center. And I'm gonna hold those corners down for a few seconds to make sure they stay. And I'm gluing each panel flush so that they all line up and right snug next to each other. And this is all 16 panels attached together. I love it, it looks really nice. But I think I need one long 10 inch panel underneath these just to go right under the bed. The board in half and taped it together and I am gluing the material um, around the front of it without the batting and I am taping it with duct tape to the bottom part of the back of the board. I'm also adding tape around the dowels. So that material goes right up to the front edge and then wraps around the bottom back. So that bottom piece sits back a little because there's no batting and it will hide right behind my mattress. Now the last thing I'm going to do is hide the white edge of the board on the side by gluing this black rope around the edges. Now one last thing, I think I want to add these glass um, buttons and um, I'm just going to put them on and see how they look. Now if you do decide to put these on, make sure you clean it very well and I'm using Gorilla Clear Grip Glue. I'm going to put two dots on um, two edges and then two dots of hot glue. Now if you just use hot glue the pieces will come off. Or you could use real buttons and thread the thread through the back of the foam board. Now that my headboard's done I'm going to bring it up to the room to attach it to the back of my bed. Now I stood the headboard up right behind my bed and I'm using these command strips on the wall, if you can see, attached right next to the edge of the wire and um, on each side. And after I put those two hooks in on the wall on each side, I took the wire in the center and taped it to downward to the back of the board to make it go even closer to the wall. Now the whole board is very light, so to keep the legs in place, I'm just going to put some white on the mold in here at the bottom on the floor. Okay, before I put the room together, I'm going to check back with Carlos and see how he's doing. Hey everybody, we're back again with Carlos and he is finished decorating and ready to show us his surprise for his wife for Valentine's. You ready to show us your room, Carlos? I am ready. I think I did a pretty good job. Oh, good. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. show so us we... every detail. Uh, Tony, I hope I did you justice. So here we go, people. Here we go. So we're decorating the nook of our master bedroom. So I kind of want to just change the atmosphere, make it a lot more romantic so that we could spend some days in here during the Valentine season. So here's the nook. And what I did here over in this area here, here is the table that's next to our chair. And I wanted to put a picture of us in this beautiful frame 
that Tony had and with this bouquet of flowers next to it, along with these candles that we have here. So we can always light those at night and create that environment. And then back here, I did add this little mood lighting there so that it can always give us the kind of environment that we're looking for. So I absolutely love this table right here. And then here is the chair that I wanna just have her sit in. I can actually serve her food from this chair so that she can get really comfortable pillow and the have here so she doesn't have to do anything for that Valentine's night. I can actually feed her from mm -hmm. the food that she would love to have. So that would be her queen's chair that I will put in, <laughs> put in place for her. And then we did have teal curtains, but Tony did a great job of setting the mood with these kind of like quite sheer curtains that we actually have here. And it really changes the atmosphere of this nook area. So it makes it light and bright as well as romantic. So I absolutely love the sheer curtains that we actually have here. I put the little love here oh. and I thought that that would just continue to remind her how much I love her when I'm sitting there. She can yeah. see that. And then to serve her, I actually have our sofa table here. So you can see it. Just want to make sure you guys can see it well. But we've got yeah, some cool. candle, a candle arbor here that always be lit. Along with a little Valentine's box there with a nice little present inside. Oh, nice. And then the present inside, I got some earrings for her. Oh, nice. Beautiful. So, that's great. And then that tray, that's that serving tray that Tony was talking about that she bought really inexpensive, but it turned out to be beautiful. So I will be serving some nice treats on this tray for my wife as well. And then decorate it around with the flowers that Tony has right there. And I just thought if we get a little bit more sexy, that's going to be the mask <laughs> that I'll ask her to put on. <laughs> But that is that that's the room. And thank you for transforming that room into something that I feel like is going to be a lot more appropriate for a Valentine's evening. Carlos, you did such a great job just go. decorating everything. It looks so nice and warm and inviting. And it and it's it's just those, it's like little touches of um love <laughs> this warmness and love so i'm sure she's gonna love it so thank you so much yes, for participating this. This in this wonderful with me um i'm still working on my surprise so i'll show you guys that next when my husband gets home we'll surprise him but um i want you guys to go out and check out carlos and Catherine's podcast they have a youtube channel called Power Couples Rock with great shows on it. And um, they also have a Power Couples Rock game, uh, a little board game that's coming out soon. So I want you to yes. stay tuned for that, you know, look out for that. And they have some uh, lots of other things coming up that's really exciting. And I'll tell you about that. Okay, but I hope you guys have a great Valentine's. And uh, thanks again. And I will see you Thank you soon. All Bye. right. Great job. Bye. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm finally finished decorating my room. Let me show you how it turned out. Here's a headboard. I found a really nice silver comforter set with a sparkly and fluffy pillow to make the bed look really luxurious. I added some candles and my coffee filter flowers on the nightstand. I had these two big copper vase for years for about 20 years and they were really tarnished so I brushed on a little of my gold metallic paint and they came out really nice and golden. I wanted to make sure they went with this nice gold vase that I found at Goodwill for about four dollars. I also added some sparkly silver candles a few of which I made to go with my sparkly silver pillow. And right over here, I'll put his Valentine's present along with his favorite candy, pralines. 
but overall I think the headboard and everything turned out really nice. I hope he likes it. Here he comes. I want to catch him before he goes upstairs to surprise him. Hey babe. How are you doing? Good. Before you go upstairs, I have a surprise for you. Okay, so I want you to close your eyes after you walk up the stairs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> door. Oh, and now open your eyes. Wow. <laughs> Great job, baby. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. <laughs> you like I really it? like it. Yeah, it's great. We have a new it's headboard beautiful. now. Remember that panel um, headboard that we saw in the magazine that yeah. we liked a while back? Yeah. I love it. And I hope you like the new. Uh, I thought it'd be a little more romantic. It's beautiful. Um, I know you had some great sheets that you bought. I hope you don't mind nice getting to have some change. more. <laughs> That's great, babe. And your gifts over here, your favorite candy and um, uh, friends. Yes, friends, <laughs> of course. Wow, you really made my day, babe. Well, I think he really liked his Valentine's bedroom surprise. But before we go, I really would like your opinion. I love my yellow coffee filter roses, but I found these flowers at Dollar Tree a while back. Cream roses with violet and I put the cream on this side and I had some purple roses that I put on the other side of the bed and I think they'll go really nice with the silver comforter set. Also after looking at the headboard in the room I think it would be really great to extend it all the way to the edge of the nightstands. I'll have to see if I have enough material left over for that or find some more, but I would love to do that, I think. So let me know in the comments below, should I bring back the yellow roses or should I keep the violet and cream roses? And do you think I should extend the headboard so that it goes to the edge of each nightstand? Let me know and I'll try to do it and show you how that turns out. So if you are not watching the Valentine's playlist already, I want you to click on that link above and get ready to see some beautiful, talented ladies with awesome ideas for your Valentine's Day. As always, love you and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, check out my Etsy store. I just added new products from this show with free shipping. And for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. Put all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show. And you can add them all to your cart for the one-click, fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.